Hey, welcome back. Azure AD Privileged Identity Management provides additional controls tailored to securing access rights for resources across Azure AD, Azure, and other Microsoft online services. My name is Sushant Sudish, and, and I'm going to be your trainer for Microsoft 365 Certified Security Administrator Associate course. After this episode, you would be able to explain privileged identity management, configure PIM for use in your organization, and how can you use PIM for audit roles and explain Microsoft Identity Manager as well. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Let us first understand identity as a service. IaaS is the new control plane. First of all, what is the control plane? In a switch or a router, the control plane is the part that controls where the traffic is. In a switch or a router, the control plane is the part that controls where the traffic is to go. But it's not responsible for the movement of the traffic. The control plane learns the routes, either static or dynamic. The part responsible for moving the traffic is the forward plane. And this example figure shows a simple switch diagram. A user's identity is like a control plane because it controls which protocol the user will interact with, which organization program the user can access, and which devices the user can employ to access these programs. Identity is what helps protect your user and corporate data. For example, should that data be encrypted, deleted, or ignored when an issue occurs? So what is Privileged Identity Management? Azure AD Privileged Identity Management, or PIM, enables you to manage, control, and monitor access within your organization. This includes access to resources in Azure AD, Azure Resources, and other Microsoft online services like Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Intune. This control does not eliminate the need for users to carry out privileged operations in Azure AD, Azure, Office 365, and Software as a Service apps. So let me show you where you can find Azure AD Privileged Identity Management. I'm on my Azure portal. You can go to the global search box and type in Privileged Identity Management and select Privileged Identity Management. And this service is where you set up your PIM configurations. And organizations can give users just-in-time privileged access to Azure resources and Azure AD from this. And PIM helps mitigate the risk excessive unnecessary or misused access right. So what are the key features of PIM? And PIM provides just-in-time privileged access to Azure AD and Azure resources. You can use PIM for assigning time-bound access to resources by using start and end times. You can use PIM for requiring approval to activate privileged roles. You can enforce Azure MFA to activate any roles. Using justification to understand why users activate or getting notification when privileged roles are activated as well. You can use PIM for conducting access reviews to ensure that users still need roles. And you can download an audit history for internal or external audit as well. Now let's understand just-in-time administrator access. Historically, you could assign a user to an admin role through the Azure portal and other Microsoft online service portals or Azure AD commandlets in Windows PowerShell. As a result, that user becomes a permanent admin, always active in assigned role. In addition to permanent admins, Azure AD PIM service introduced the concept of eligible admin. So how can you enable eligible admin? So I'm going to go back to my privileged identity management. Under quick start, you can click on activate just-in-time access. So eligible admins are users that need privileged access periodically, but not all day, every day. The role is inactive until the user needs access. Then he or she completes an activation process and becomes an active admin for a predetermined amount of time. More and more organizations are choosing to use this approach to reduce and eliminate 
standing admin access to privileged roles. So what are the prerequisites for PIM? To use PIM, you need Azure AD P2 license or Enterprise Mobility Plus Security E5 license. All right, so let's understand the way you can configure PIM. The first person to use PIM in your instance of Azure AD is automatically assigned the security administrator and privileged role administrator role in the directory. This person must be an eligible Azure AD user. Only privileged role administrator can manage the Azure AD directory role assignments of the users. In addition, you can choose to run security wizard that walks you through the initial discovery and assignment experience process as well. So the first step is to discover access resources. Then you go to grant access to other personnel to manage PIM. And the third is elevating access for a global administrator. Let's understand how can you audit PIM. You can use privileged identity management, audit history to see all the user assignments and activation within a given time period for all privileged roles. If you want to see the full audit history of activity in your tenant, including administrator, end user, and synchronization activity, you can use the Azure Active Directory access and usage reports. You can use the audit history to view the total activations, max activation per day, and average activations per day in the line graph as well, if you want to use an audit history graph. So what is Microsoft Identity Manager or MIM? Microsoft Identity Manager or MIM helps organizations manage the users, credentials, policies, and access within their organization and hybrid environments. With MIM, organizations can simplify identity lifecycle management with automated workflows, business rules, and easy integration with heterogeneous platforms across the data center. MIM enables Active Directory to help the right users and access rights for an on-premises apps. Azure AD Connect can then make those users and permissions available in Azure AD for Office 365 and cloud-hosted apps. On-premises Active Directory, Azure AD, or hybrid combination of the two all offers services for users and device authorization identity and role management and provisioning. All right, so that concludes the lesson on privileged identity management. And that concludes module three as well. In the next video, we're gonna do a quick knowledge check. So I will see you on the next one. Till then, take care.